Well, hey there, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Bundled up, bundled up these days, man. It has been cold here in South Alabama, and I'm not using the heat. Last night, uh, or actually when I got up this morning, uh, the thermostat inside the house was 58 degrees. But it's really good sleeping to let it be just as cold as possible in the house and piled under covers. I ended up last night under sheet, blanket, comforter, and my grandmother's old quilt. So I was all good and I was snug and I slept like nine, maybe 10 hours. Today I'm gonna to talk about my raw food diet and what I recommend. Guys, I do videos like this every day, so if you haven't already done it, go down there and hit that subscribe button now. Then make sure you click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. You know, I get questions all the time. I see people that want to argue about the diet in general all the time. I have people that want to argue about how I do the diet all this time. So just let me clear something up for you. Your mileage may vary. I don't tell people you should do, you need to eat the way I eat or my way is the way. This way has worked for me. I've always been odd. I always find my own way to do things. And I, I don't see why it would have been any different on food than it is for anything else in my life. I'm chaotic on this diet. So my, the way I do it may not be the way you do it. And it shouldn't be unless it just happens to be because this is a personal thing. I don't know anybody out there. I'm trying to think, you know, I was thinking about before I started the video, I'm trying to think, okay, do I know anybody out there that I can use as an example of somebody that's really succeeding on this lifestyle, that's thriving on this lifestyle, that did some sort of a program or did somebody else's approach or did a prescribed way of doing it? Most everybody out there that is doing well on this raw food diet they're doing it their way. They've personalized it. They make it work for them. And that's how it should be because you're not me. You're not living in my circumstances. You don't think like I do. Um, you may be in a total different place, uh, whatever. But um, what I'm getting at is you need to map this thing out. You need to take control and you need to be your leader. You need to be your guru. And, you know, you don't need to look outside everybody else. I, I don't take this lifestyle too seriously. I think even people that watch me and ask questions, I try to be transparent so it's not like some big uh, shock when I say this. But if you've watched enough of my videos, you can pretty much tell I don't take this over seriously. I mean, you know, I've seen all this stuff and I've seen the conversations and people try to, you know, they're, they have these scholarly discussions and I just find myself giggling over on the sideline because I don't care about all that stuff. Everybody thinks they have the way, but there's about 400,000 people that have the way. So which one of them actually does have the right way? You know what I mean? It can get confusing. So as I've always said on this channel, you got to figure this stuff out for yourself and you have to take responsibility for it. I, what I hate more than anything else is somebody that does anything like this. You know, I've, I've seen and I see videos out there all the time. People that follow somebody else's approach, it doesn't work for them and they, they uh, diss the person that they followed. You shouldn't be following anybody, you know. Do your own thing. Um, I don't take it seriously, but... It works for me. It works for me. Yes, my diet's not perfect. I second, like I tell you in every video almost, I second guess myself all the time. Am I eating too many bananas? Do I get enough variety? Do I get enough of that? Do I get enough of this? Should I be doing? And quite possibly I should. Um, it all falls back to, and I hate to always say this, it's almost like I should just change that about myself, but it's, it's laziness. It's laziness, but... This la laziness has been a good thing for me because when I get lazy or, you know, just don't feel like fooling with food, I tend to go really simple and really clean. I don't tend to, you know, freak out and go eat something bad. So um, if I just get in that point where, okay, I can't think of anything I want to fix or I just don't really want to think about food, I just make a green smoothie. Um, so yeah, I may not have a complete diet, but the best way of doing this lifestyle is a way that's actually going to work for you. 
uh, what I mean by that is I could possibly try to tweak my diet and get in all serious and make sure, okay, I'm getting this and this and this every day and I'm having, you know, a, a balance and it's like all my meals are diverse, but I know myself and that's not going to work for me. That's going to work for some people. Listen, when I say my lifestyle works for me, I'm not saying it's the only way either. I can, I can tell you, I could probably um, look at 30, 40, 50 people on any given time and say, yeah, they're doing well on that lifestyle. There's people eating cooked food. That's why I will never, you know, that's why I can't get into these purist conversations and I can't like diss the, the cooked food or, you know, give you these long explanations into why it shouldn't be done because I know a lot of people um, because I don't just stick in the raw vegan world. I'm networking out there with a lot of different people, you know, like on Instagram and other social media. And I see people out there eating cooked that are way ahead of a lot of the raw foodists as far as what I consider being vibrant, healthy people. Hell, I know people that don't even, that eat cooked, you know, every day that are just clicking that are, you know, I'm sorry, you can, you can preach all this like purist philosophy and the raw is this and that, but there's a lot of sick looking people on raw. And there's also a lot of very fit, well thriving people on cooked food. So that's just, that's not to say one is better than the other, but I think it's all about the individual and how they practice and how they eat what they do. Like I've been saying forever, it's, uh, and I'm jumping around a lot in this video. Um, it's about clean plant-based eating so you know i'd rather actually see somebody eating more cooked food and keeping it cleaner than eating 100 percent raw and maybe you know stuffing a bunch of nuts in there or eating a bunch of processed raw stuff um but that's just me but when you watch my videos and i haven't done a what i've eaten a day video in a while basically because there's just no variety in it right now when you're watching what I eat, I don't think anybody's going to do what I do because I go, I, I've, I've always been a little bit odd and I've always been a little bit odd when it comes to food I'm about just repetition, repetition, getting in, getting into a certain way of eating and just staying there. Um, probably the last three or four weeks and it's also too because I haven't felt great, but I've just almost lived on bananas. You know, it's been, I'd probably say 75% of my calories over the last month, 75% of my food has probably come from green smoothies and ice cream. I eat every day. And already today I've had both. I had a big green smoothie for my first meal. And then I guess lunch, I had um, some spirulina chocolate chip and ice cream. So yeah, like I say, I'm never going to tell anybody, and I always want to clarify that. I, I don't debate my way of eating because I don't tell you it's the right way. You've got to find your way. If there's one thing I want you to figure out in this video is there's not one true way, in my opinion. Number two, you have to personalize it. You have to make it work for you because I don't care if there's something like you can have a raw food educator that knows everything that it that may that does a good approach but they're not like i said before they're not in your situation they're not in your circumstances they don't have your personality and they're not you so we are all going to do this in a different way and that's okay that's okay of all the people that i think of that i like and admire like uh this is raw food romance Lisa and i we completely different she eats more meals. She eats, does more recipes. I'm not going to argue with Melissa. Melissa's way works for her. Chris Kendall, The Raw Advantage. A lot of respect for the guy. He's been around for a long time, and he's been thriving for a long time. He's, he's different than me. I'll watch his videos, and I'm like, yeah, he doesn't do anything that I do. But I know. I can look at certain people and be like, but it's working for them. Um, and I could name any number of people that I respect and I think, wow, they're doing a great job. Um, even, the, you know, y'all mention John Rose all the time. And I don't do anything like John Rose. He does a lot of the juices and he's more into that stuff. But, dude, look at John Rose. You can just turn the damn video on. Don't even have to listen to what he's saying. I don't argue with what's in front of my eyes. I, I mean, even if it's something that I don't necessarily agree with for myself, 
I don't doubt my eyes. I don't. I can't look at somebody and 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 you know not see that. Wow, that's a vibrantly healthy person there. So we're all going to have different approaches. Even the people that are supposedly experts in this lifestyle, you won't even find any of the experts that do this thing the same way. So once you wrap your head around that, and once you stop you know, trying to argue every little aspect of the diet. You'll just figure it out on your own. Um, and I am, I'm just getting into repeating myself. You've got to personalize this. You've got to have your own style of doing it. Don't try to do it like me. Um, because no, no, I probably don't do this lifestyle right a hundred percent. I probably do need more variety. I'm probably deficient in some things. I'm probably too much this, too much that, but it works for me. And to finish, I don't really care. Even if I'm not doing 100% right, I like my chances where I am and what I'm doing now a hell of a lot better than what I was doing seven or eight years ago. I'm doing a hell of a lot better than even, in my opinion, like I say, everything's always my opinion, than if I had come to this just, you know, um, Maybe I wasn't vegan, but I was doing a cleaner version of the American, standard American diet. <laughs> I know I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I would be even doing fairly clean version of the standard American diet, you know, cutting back on the animal products, cutting back on fat and this and that. So to sum it all up, I'm as happy as a clam with what I do. I have energy every day. I feel good every day. My digestion's good. I don't have to think about food, which I really am not into thinking about food all the time. And um, yeah, I've just found a way that works for me. And what I want to share on this channel more than anything else is just helping you find your process. I don't want you to copy me. I don't want you to eat a certain thing. I'm just trying to give you some thoughts always and ideas on how the process of doing this and how to make that process your own. Because once you're in control, you know, once you're in the driver's seat and you're driving, you're going to have a lot more confidence. So you're going to feel better about what you're doing than instead of always looking to somebody else, always asking a question, always waiting for an answer. It's all right there in front of you, Google and YouTube, Google and YouTube. You can learn anything you need to know about this diet. So. Anyhow, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.